Hello, my name is Rusty, and I'm excited to be here for our time with the Lord, to talk with him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord, that you would help us to learn about fear. There's so many verses that explain about it, about 400 of them in the Bible, about fear. And we want to know what that means. Lord, help us to learn every day about you and who you are. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. I've been explaining or saying that there's about 400 different times that the Bible says fear or fear not. Remember when an angel would come down, they would say, fear not. That's in the Bible. But also, fear can mean that you have high respect for God. The beginning of wisdom. Fear the Lord, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Again, fear, fear of the Lord. It keeps coming up, right? And I want to explain about that. We have to realize that it will help you understand who God is. If you want to increase in wisdom, I'm sure you want that. I do too. I love having wisdom from God. The Bible is wisdom. And if you fear the Lord, that's the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Do you praise the Lord every day? Praise him more. Yeah. It's important. It's important for us to fear him. And there's more in the Bible that we'll learn about fear. And I hope that you have a fear of God and that you realize that there are many people that don't fear him and it's harder for God to use their lives. So for you and me, we need to have a holy fear of him. I don't mean trembling and being afraid of him. No, it means what we do for him, for our Lord, like avoiding lying or stealing or having a temper or gossiping. That's fearing him. We want to respect him and do what he says and do the right thing. That's when we'll get wisdom. Praise God for that. Amen. I pray that the Lord would help you and me to study about fear and that it would help you every day to understand who God really is. Many people don't understand him. God is holy. He deserves high respect. And then we'll have fear and wisdom and joy and rejoice in him because he is our Lord. And I pray that the Lord would help you to keep going and don't quit. Heavenly Father, we've been talking about not quitting. We want to understand, and sometimes we don't, but Lord, we need to fear you so that we have wisdom. It's important for us to do that every day and to have a good relationship with you. You're precious and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, God will always be with you, my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Bye.